here on Talk of the Town. And joining me is Dr. Rhonda Stevens, and she is the CEO of Right Directions, which is a company that you may not have heard of, but you should have because they've been around for a while. Tell us a little bit about it. You're not a new company. That's true. We were established in 2011, and we have a corporate backer, Seaside Healthcare. So we've been around a long time. We have five branches throughout South Carolina. We're in Myrtle Beach, Rock Hill, Bennettsville, Hampton, and we're in Beaufort County. I mean, that's a pretty big reach, and you're obviously you're focusing on mental health, particularly with uh, children, which is obviously such a huge need, and that is a, that's a large reach. So you're reaching a lot of kids. We are. We try to, when we move into the companies, seed what's missing uh, to address the barriers in mental health, and then creatively create services that treat the child and the family or individuals as a whole. And you talked to me a little bit before we started filming that you are within the school districts. So you're finding kids in the school districts that are having a need. Um, obviously, maybe there's something going on at home or there's just something going on with them. But you're not DSS. You're there to kind of help the whole family holistically to heal. Absolutely. There is over 18 million students in our country that have mental health needs and only one third get the treatment. And 70% of that one third, they typically are identified in the school setting. So it's very important that we're there when it is identified and we can provide the help that they need. And so what's unique to you is that you actually go into the homes of these of students that you're dealing with. So you're on their turf, where they're comfortable. Do you find that that is um, a huge benefit because they can open up a little bit more, they can really be themselves when, when the provider goes in to see them? Absolutely. Anyone can dress up in their Sunday best and come in office, right. but we all know the problems uh, need to be dressed where children are most comfortable, where families are most comfortable, and that's in the home. And really building a therapeutic relationship with the families to see what other needs that we can help them address. Yeah, and I think that's it's so important because you know the, the piece that you said specifically that you're not DSS, so it's not a scary situation. It's a we're here to help situation. Absolutely. That's what we're here for, to design a treatment that works for the child and for the family. And something else you mentioned before we started filming was how much you've grown and that you're actually getting into some other areas. I, I know you said autism is not your specialty, but you are filling a need that we really have here. And tell us a little bit about that. That's right. Even though we don't specialize in autism therapy, we provide autism diagnosing in the office, which is much needed in this area. Um, before we started the service, it was a one-year wait, and you had to drive very far away. So being able to provide that for our community has been very beneficial. Well, and I can't really imagine as a parent having to wait an entire year just for a diagnosis before you even start treatment. So. That is obviously a huge need. Is that something you also do in home? Um, the testing piece? Yeah. The testing okay. is done in office. It's okay. just very uh, complex and comprehensive. So that will be all done in person in office. And where are your offices or office in Beaufort <laughs> County? Well, we have several, like I said, but in Beaufort County, we are conveniently located right between in the middle of the county. So we are on 170. Okay. Uh, so we're right in the middle of Beaufort and Hilton Head, which is super important in our county. I don't think a lot of people realize the yeah. distance from one end of the county to the other. Yeah, I'm about to find it out. I have to go far today, so I'm, I'm going to find out exactly how long well, good that luck. is. Yeah, thank you. But no, that is really kind of centrally located. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, so north of the Broad, south of the Broad can, can get Absolutely. there easily. And obviously that's centrally located for you to go to the families in both areas of the county as well. Absolutely. We also provide crisis management if you're a, an enrolled client. So we've even broken it up farther into service areas so that our um, CSPs, our leads, our therapists, they can be in the home, in the school, in a moment's notice, which is super important. And we just have a few seconds left, but I do um, want to also mention something that you had, again, mentioned before we started filming, and that was that you have um, a medical staff that can deliver medications if that's needed or prescribe medications if that's needed as well. Yes, yeah, so that was one of the barriers in this community we found was transportation, and we help to alleviate that by partnering with an at-home pharmacy delivery. And we also have our own whole psychiatric medical staff. So we have a medical director, 
We have five nurse practitioners. We have nurses on board. We have a clinical director. So really trying to take that next step in our growth and the community's growth as the, our communities are more aware of mental health and the needs. Yeah, well, thank you so much for all of that. And thank you for being here today to share what you're doing in the community and really taking this entire approach to it. It's really, really fascinating. Thank you for being here. Thank you.